How's it going everybody? Corbin here from Zoco Marketing. In today's video, we're gonna be going over how to track conversions in your Bing account if you have a Shopify store. This is gonna be a full tutorial on showing you how to actually track not just conversions, but revenue itself from those sales. Uh, if you have multiple products or things like that so that sell for different values, I'll teach you how to uh, install the script to be able to run this all the way through. And trust me, this isn't this isn't crazy technical or crazy hard to do, it's just essentially copying and pasting. And if you follow this video, you should be good to go. So I'm gonna jump right in, right into the beginning, right into the video. I do ask though, however, if you do find value in the video and you are new around here, don't forget to subscribe. I create a lot of different content related to Bing ads, Google ads, Facebook ads, TikTok ads, TikTok ads, all the above. Let's jump right in. So the first thing you're gonna need is obviously a Microsoft ads account or Bing ads account, depending on um, where you come from or how long you've been in the game. Uh, but here we are inside of the Microsoft ads account. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is come over here to tools and then you're gonna to come to this UET tag. So in order to get the conversion tracking set up, the first thing that we do need to do is install the UET tag, which is universal event tracking tag on our website. And when you first create a UET tag, you'll probably see something along the lines of this. If you already have one and it is on your website, you're just gonna to wanna to, to come over here and um, hit this U tag and grab the tag here. Um, if this is your first time on uh, the Microsoft Ads platform and first time creating a UET tag, you're gonna click here and create UET tag. I'm gonna call this shop Shopify store, Shopify store test, so I know which one it is. You can add a description there if you'd like, and then we are going to then hit save. It's then going to populate a code for us, which we then are, of course, going to come through and copy. So we're gonna copy this, and then now we are gonna go over to our Shopify store. <coughs> we're gonna come over here to the online store. We're gonna click on the actions here. We want to edit the code. And then you're gonna come here to the theme.liquid. And we're gonna click on that. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to find our closing body tag, which is right here. So just search on your, your browser if you're not familiar with you know this kind of code or different things like that. Find Search until you find the closing body tag, which looks like this as a little um, backslash there. And then simply uh, hit enter and paste the this code right above that closing body tag. So we're gonna paste that right there. <clears throat> it looks a little funny because it, it put it all the way through. So there is our script. So there's the first the first step essentially. So now we're gonna go through and save that code real quick. There that is. And then now we are going to go over to our settings here. So what essentially what we did is we just went through and added the UET tag to all the pages on our website. But now we need to go and add the code specifically to our checkout flow so that when somebody goes through and purchases and uh, actually gives us money, we can track how much money they gave us. So we're gonna go over here to the settings next. We're gonna scroll down, or sorry, we're not gonna scroll down, we're gonna to go to here to checkout. Then we're gonna scroll down until you see something that looks like this, the order status page, where we can add additional scripts. We're going to copy that UET tag. Now that we have that code inside of there, we're not quite done yet. We now need to go through and generate the actual, the, uh, the second half of the code to actually dynamically pull in the revenue that is being generated on this confirmation page. And that's really simple to do, and I'm gonna show you step by step on how to do that. So we're gonna come back over here to um, our Bing, and we're gonna come over, or Microsoft Ads, you wanna click on Tools, and then now we need to create the actual conversion goal. We have our UET tag installed, we need to create the actual conversion goal, which is over here. We're going to give that just a second to load in, and then um, as you see here, I have multiple conversions that I've gone through and done or tested and created demo ones. Um, yours may look somewhat, somewhat similar or somewhat different, but you basically wanna come through and click Create Conversion Goal. We want this to be on our website, we're gonna hit Next here. And then the category that we want this to be is of course a purchase. And then it's going to ask for a different, uh, a couple different goal types on how you can track this. For this one specifically, I found that the easiest one is to do by product. You can do it by destination URL if you would like to, but Shopify doesn't necessarily give you sometimes the uh, a one size fits all destination URL. But here we can go through and copy this code onto our um, page that we see right here and it makes it really easy and they give you the, the code automatically as well. So we're gonna hit product here, we're gonna hit next. And then we're going to give this a name, so we're gonna call this Shopify event uh, purchase event. And then it's going to ask you to select a value. So if you want, if you only have one product and it's only one value every single time, you can click this option. But for here, we need to, we want to do the conversion action value 
may vary, for example, by purchase. And then it's going to tell us this here. Um, it's going to give us this little warning saying, you'll need to customize your UET uh, tag tracking code to report variable revenue, which is exactly what we're going to do right here. So then it's going to ask for a couple of more advanced settings, the scope. This is the account that we want it to run on. The account, we want this to be all. You don't want it to be unique because it's going to be purchased. So if somebody goes through and purchases multiple, it will count. And then the conversion window, leave it 30 days. View through window, leave it one day. You can change those if you'd like, but I recommend to keep them there. And then we want to include this as a conversion. We're then going to hit next. And here it's going to confirm the set the tag setting up. So you'll notice here, because I have multiple UET tags in this one account, it is saying that the tag it will be using is the, the real tag, which is my, my real tag on one of my websites. Um, and so you want to make sure that this is the one that you just named your new Shopify, your Shopify tag. If you do have multiple UET tags, for most of you, you probably only have one, so you don't have to worry about this. But if you wanted to choose a different tag, you click down here. And then as you can see, I have a, d a demo tag, the real tag, and then my Shopify store test, the one that we just set up. We're going to hit save there. And then now um, we can say, yes, the UET tag was already installed um, according to the steps that we did before there. So then we can hit now save and next. And then we're going to uh, click here. I like to uh, track this on the page load event is what I like to go for. And then it's going to conveniently give you the code that you need to go through and copy onto your Shopify store. So we're going to grab this whole thing right here. And as you can see, it says on each page where this event happens, for example, your order confirmation page, copy this tag. So now we're going to come over here to Shopify on our order status page. And then we're going to copy that code on there. Um, and then we're going to scroll down and hit save. And boom, there is our, we're going to actually come back here to, to the, the, the store. If you wanted to copy this tag or send it to a developer, you could do that here with these instructions. But if you just follow this video, it will show you everything that you need to know. Then we're going to hit next and Voila, all done. We are now tracking revenue in our Shopify store. This allows you to run campaigns inside of Bing and see how much money uh, is actually it actually is bringing in for those specific campaigns at the keyword level or at the product level, whatever it may be. So something that's very valuable. If you are going to be running any kind of e-commerce store, any e-commerce product on Bing, I do recommend doing this. Um, and then one last final thing that I do want you to be aware of is how to go through and track and make sure that everything is working correctly. You're going to want to go to Google, um, type in like uh, UET tag helper. You're going to want to download this Chrome extension. If you come over here to your store and you uh, come over here, the, when you first click on it, it's going to be off. So if you click, you come to your store, you click on this UET tag helper. If you don't see it for whatever reason, you just click on here and then make sure it's pinned. Um, oops, that's the wrong one. Pin, make sure it's pinned. As you see, it removes the, or adds and takes away there. And then you click on this and then you want to flip it on and then you want to refresh your page and then scroll over. And what that's going to do is you'll notice that now there's a little one right there. And as you see, there is our UET tag firing. You can go through and, and uh, go through and do a test purchase as well to make sure that the purchase event is firing. If you'd like to do that, I'm not going to do it in this video specifically, but uh, another tool that I wanted you to be aware of. And that is everything there is to getting your Bing revenue tracking set up. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, as I went through YouTube and trying to find if anybody had created something like this, there wasn't one that did it the right way and kind of the easy way. So hopefully you found this one helpful if you've been struggling with this problem. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe and like. It's the, the best way to, to, to help me out and I really do appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video.